Tim the Blacksmith, welcome here. So, yeah, in canal. Hey, we're gonna try making a knife from it. No idea if this is gonna work. I have no idea if it's gonna make a good knife. I have no idea if we can even make a knife from this stuff. It's pretty gnarly. So let's see what we can do. I'm, I'm looking forward to this experiment. I hope you are too. We're gonna run it daily uploads, Monday to Friday. So it'll be a little bit of a different format, but I'm looking forward to that. Anyways, no more talking. That's not gonna be true. Let's get right into it. Thanks for being here. All right, where did I put that piece of in canal? Here it is, in canal. Why don't you pull the chair up? We're gonna talk a little bit. Man, I could just really use a cup of coffee right now. I'm feeling it. Let me get rid of these axes. Cluttering up my desk here. Okay, so we're talking about in canal, particularly this piece right here, which is in canal alloy type 718. Only type of in canal I've ever seen or had. If you don't know much about Inconel, welcome to the club, neither do I. Apparently it was developed just after World War II for increasing the life in turbine engines and planes. It is considered a super alloy. It holds up in extreme pressure and temperature. The big deal with this stuff is that it work hardens, and so that is tough for machining. And I, on the last two videos I've done with this material, Surprised at how many of you who are watching have dealt with this and worked with this material. So there's a lot of experience around here, more than I know for sure. To those of you who have worked with this stuff, is there a way that I can harden it in my shop with what I have? Be really interested to know that, particularly for trying to make a knife out of it. Again, this is an experiment, guys. So we don't know what, well, I don't know what's gonna happen but that's sort of the fun of it. So anyways, that's in canal, that's what we're doing. I wanna make this knife um, as quickly as I can. I do not want this to be like that titanium knife build where it was like six weeks of just flat out sanity craziness. We're not doing that on this project. <laughs> if you haven't seen that project, I recommend you check it out. This is a uh, get it done quick so we can really test to see if in canal makes a good knife. If it does make a good knife, then we can circle back and make a really beautiful knife out of that. Wanted to talk to you about this. This is a drawing I got from a fellow YouTuber, Kyle Royer. He is a master bladesmith. No, like actually he is, that's his certification. It's nuts, crazy cool projects on YouTube. I will make sure to put his link down below so you can check out his YouTube channel if you haven't. Top quality stuff. Kyle also offers a couple courses online for making knives. You gotta check out Kyle's course because he answers every single question you would have and shows you how to do it. Also, what I particularly really enjoy is the why you do it like this, especially in the designing of a knife. That's super important. Kyle told me to tell you he's going to offer 40% off of his two course if, if you use the promo code Timothy at checkout. I'm going to put that down below so you can check that out too. So if you're thinking about getting Kyle's course or you're thinking about building knives, this is an incredible opportunity to jump in and get that. This is Kyle's drawing here. So I basically have copied that. Thank you, Kyle. Um, I've made it a little bit longer, changed the handle in here. And uh, I, he goes into incredible detail on how to put beautiful scales on it, ins and outs of doing all that. I'm not gonna do any of that type of work because we, we don't know if this is gonna make a good knife or not. So all I'm gonna do is get this profile roughed out and then I'm just gonna put paracord around this uh, as a handle so that we got something comfortable so we can beat and slash and see how this is gonna work out. So that's the plan. Let's see what we can do here. Here we go. With these uh, super alloys or aerospace steels, every single little thing is a victory. Just to cut it, a victory.
So interesting how it has no scale on it. it. It doesn't maybe look so weird now, but at an orange heat, it sure does. Such a clean, clean material to forge. So that's pretty cool. It's actually, it's hard. It's so hard to forge, but with the drawing dies in here, it's actually going way better than I thought it was. So I'm gonna do as much as I can with those dies before going to the flat dies because doesn't it look like I'm touching it right there? <laughs> I'm like six inches off, don't worry, optical illusion. I'm gonna do as much as I can in those dies before I go to the flat dies because it gets so hard to forge in the flat dies. Anyways, let's take another heat on it here. And I'm not even going to pretend that I'm going to try to forge the blade out of this material at the anvil. It would just, there's no stinking way that you could do that. Never ever. Wow. We're not doing that, okay? It's so crazy to work a material that is so clean. It's just no scale. It's just like, what is this stuff? So I got a slight taper across the whole thing, which is just perfect. So this side here will be the front of the knife, and then that'll be the back. At least that's what I think so at this point. We're gonna let this cool off now, and then we'll start grinding it to shape. All right, where did that... Hey, hand it over. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Piece of ink in out. It's smooth though, hey? It's so smooth. We're not, we're not gonna talk about that on video because we've been there and done that before, okay? Moving on. May I please have that Sharpie? <clears throat> Gentlemen. Oh, wow. It doesn't actually have that. Okay, does it fit? Oh, oh, that's not actually that much longer than I needed it to be. Wow, wow, wow. Might not be long enough, actually. I pretty much wanna cut it here and here because I'm worried that I got a big cold shut on that end and that leaves me dry an inch. Ooh. I gave myself so much extra material too, a whole inch. Oh, I'm at two and a quarter. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I gotta go back to the forge. We're back to the forge. We're back. I think we got it this time, folks. I think we got it. I'm just gonna double check because I don't wanna be a fool a third time. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be just swell. We're gonna let that cool off, get to grinding it, but that, unfortunately, is gonna have to be tomorrow. Oh, is the rain wrecking the audio in here? It's like a tin can in the shop when it starts to rain. And we're just starting into the fall. It's, never mind. We're going to be getting used to some rain around here. Guys, that's it. No, it's not it. But it's it. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say that's the end of this video, but we're not done the project. So tune in tomorrow when we start into grinding it. Don't forget to check out Kyle's YouTube channel and his incredible tutorials. If you're interested in knife making, you want to build the best knife you possibly can, don't watch me. Watch Kyle. Put the link down below. And as always, thank you for watching. Grab your favorite hammer and hit that like button. 
grab an even bigger hammer and just like smash, annihilate, destroy, just utterly crush that subscribe button. We'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, keep the forge lit, eh?